y'all. Good morning. Um, I know y'all are all stressed out about jobs. That's what I hear. That's what I'm getting lots of DMs about. That's what all over the NP forums. So I wanted to come on here and give you a quick little update on what I think is going on with that. To give you some background, I am an acute care nurse practitioner. I work in the ICU in the suburbs of Georgia. If we haven't met yet, my name is Bree. I make content for nurses, NPs, and students. Welcome. <music> Okay, I get it. You're stressed out. I uh, would be too. It's a tough market right now. About a year ago, I made a video on market saturation and presented some what I felt to be very strong arguments for why I think the NP market is robust and there will be a continued need for it. I still stand by that. I support that very much. Um, I think as NPs, we need to support each other and that matters a lot to me. But a little bit of real talk here y'all is that yes the market is very very competitive right now so multiple things go into assessing what your specific market is going to be like and I can't give you a broad sweeping statement to say the market is oversaturated and you should not go back to school I cannot say that I would never say that because so much of it depends on specific things to you so when you're looking at your market you need to consider number one where you live what's your region look like number two what's your degree in number three what is your specialty number four what is your subspecialty number five what are your personal preferences all of these things weigh into are there jobs out there for you so if you're looking at going back to school you need to assess all of those things what is it you want to do in life it starts with what's your motivation let me just say, and this is going to sound harsh, y'all, but if you're looking to go to NP school because you want to make more money, don't. It's a mistake. Number one, you probably won't make more money, you know, to start out with at least. And number two, you're going to be very dissatisfied with life. And number three, you're going to make us look bad as a profession. So don't. If that's your motivation, don't go back to school. That should not be why you choose to advance your practice. Um, people who should go back to school for their AP honor, people who desire a little shift in the focus of what they're doing to care for other human beings. If you're one of those kind of people who likes to think through things, who likes to, you know, study medicine, who likes to understand um, diagnosis and treatment, you will like being an NP. It's much less physical, but the brain stress, the decision fatigue, will get you y'all it is legit exhausting so it's just a different level of stress it's a different focus on what you do so consider what your motivations are that's my first thing the second thing is what is it you want to do do you know what specialty you want to go into because um, in the video i made a year ago i talk about if you want to be an acute care nurse practitioner you best be picking a top-notch school because it's so competitive it's such a narrow niche there's so low supply in this area and a lot of demand you got to stand out and you're not going to stand out with one of these value degree schools y'all here's my little side rant about schools i said this over and over and over probably every single video i've made i feel very strongly about this um, and it used to be just specific to acute care now with the market i think it applies to every every specialty of nurse practitioner you need to pick a good school because even if okay if a school is a good deal if there's not a lot of red tape if it's easy to get into um it's probably too good to be true y'all and the school's not going to tell you that and you're not going to know that while you're in school but you'll realize that when you get out of school and you can't find a job because your employer has 15 people who've applied and apples to apples you have a school with a you know less robust reputation guess who they're throwing out first they could care less what your personality is they could care less how you fit in with the group they're going to throw you out guaranteed and somebody who tells you otherwise it has not been on the hiring side of things i can promise you that y'all you have to pick a good school N number one for job acquisition but number two and probably even more importantly is how they prepare you to practice medicine as a person who's not gone to medical school who's not a physician even when you have a physician with you you need to think like a physician and we don't have the benefit of the academic training and preparation they have so choose a school that is going to use its time wisely to prepare you to care for other human beings lives it matters y'all and if you're going to school for the right reasons you'll realize this my other advice for new grads is watch my video on how to excel in clinicals because clinicals are your best resource for finding jobs. 
um, having precepted quite a few people now, um, there's a right way to do it and there's a wrong way to do it. So check out that video. Interviewing skills. Okay, so if you're an experienced NP and you're having a hard time finding a job, a couple things may be happening. Um, it's just that competitive that they're looking for someone that maybe had a personality that fit in with the group better or someone that has background experience that fits that particular niche better. But interview skills are high on that list. So watch my video on interview skills, y'all. Okay, if there are two people who come in for an interview and they are exactly the same on paper, they have the exact same background, exact same training, personalities are fairly similar, their ability to interview is what's going to tip the scales. So you need to study for your interview just like it's a test. Um, it is one of the most lucrative and rewarding things you can do for your future because how you interview and how much they want to hire you is also going to dictate how much they're going to pay you. So read that book, Knock Em Dead, and watch my video where I talk about interview skills. It matters. It matters a whole lot more than you think. It's your one shot to sell yourself to other people. Recently where I work, we had two spots open. We interviewed a ton of people. I lost count. I, I think it was around 10-ish. Not a single one of them were new grads. They were all experienced NPs. It was very, very competitive. So in the region where I live and work, very saturated market. Doesn't mean that if you go somewhere else, it'll be oversaturated. So if your dream is to be an ICU provider, you may have to make some concessions like moving somewhere else. So weigh the balance between your dream job, what your goals are in life, with, your, with the concessions you're willing to make in order to get there. As a new grad, you're going to have to make a significant amount of concessions, way more than you think. You're probably going to have to take the less desired shift. You may have to go to a hospital system you don't prefer to work for. You may have to work in a specialty you don't want to end up in. And here's my little side note about that, y'all. For you new grads out there, take the job. There are not many jobs available, so take the job, even if it's not your dream in life to be whatever this specialty is. And don't just take it. Take the job and make it successful. Make yourself successful at it. Be the best that you possibly can. Say you get a job with wound care, but your dream in life is to be in neurosurgery. You go out there and you fake it till you make it. You invest every piece of yourself in being the best darn wound care nurse practitioner you possibly can. You'll develop more confidence and satisfaction with what you're doing if you excel in it. And your reputation will start to precede you. So others around you will turn to you as the reference point. And then others in other specialties will notice what you're doing and they will come to you first because you're the resident expert in that. So then when they have an opening in neurosurgery, they may say, oh my gosh, that wound care nurse really knew what she was doing. She's very good at it. She invests herself in it. She cares about it. She cares about her patients. She would be a good person to work for us. So don't just go into a job that is not your top tier job and you know put in the motions of getting through the day. You may actually find that you really like it. So put your best foot forward. And my last piece of advice is don't listen to those people who tell you the market is saturated and you should not go back to school. If you want to go back to school and you're doing it for the right reasons and your motivations are solid, do it. Don't let other people step in the way of the path that you're intended to be on. But just be prepared that it may not be an easy and straight trajectory. It's going to be a bumpy road particularly in a market like this. But I feel strongly that this market will swing. There is a huge dearth of medical providers, and while we are not physicians, nor will we ever be so, we can augment their care and fill a void of medical providers that exist and will probably worsen over time. When I graduated nursing school, my mother was still alive. And at that time, there was a huge shortage of nurses, kind of like we are having right now. And there were places in the Midwest that were offering a sign-on bonus of a new car. And I remember getting out of school and thinking, oh my gosh, this is amazing. I can do whatever I want to do. And my mom said, you know, this career has always been cyclical. There are phases where there's a huge need and there are phases where there's not a lot of jobs out there. And it will continue to do so. And I think that the profession of NPs will be the same. So I'm here to tell you, if you're doing this for the right reasons, don't give up the path that you're supposed to be on will present itself in time. And hindsight is 2020. You'll be able to look back and go, I see all those broken roads that led me to this one, just like that old country song. So 
follow the roads that lead you to where you're supposed to be. Just make sure that your motivations are pure and you'll be okay.